day four from Odessa, Texas to Grand Prairie. What a great day we have had. It's been beautiful riding weather. Um, we did have a couple little mishaps and we ended up having to go to the hospital, but everybody's fine. We're uh, doing well and the ones that uh, had the wreck are released and just had abrasions and some, what we call road rash, but they'll be fine. Uh, but it did take some of our time of our day and it's kind of made for a long day, 17 hours to be exact. And um, we're anxious to uh, get see what tomorrow holds. It's Sunday and we have our service and we, Ox is here to speak. Keith O'Neill's here to play his trumpet. And we just believe God's going to be here to bless our service in the morning. You know, I had the privilege today of a man pulling up beside me and we were stopped fixing to go to Colorado City where the school there comes together on a Saturday and prepares us a meal and a, a steak and chicken and then they do a program for us. Just an incredible service uh, to us. And then uh, I was standing there or sitting there on my bike waiting and this guy pulls up beside me. He's an elderly gentleman and uh, he said, hey, I hear something's going on for veterans. And I said, well, it's room for the wall. And he said, I was invited to come today. And I said, well, you know, see, we can't just let people come and ride with us. You have to register and all of that kind of stuff because of insurance problems and uh, lawsuits and all of that. And so I was just really hesitant. But then he told me, he said, man, I'm an Iwo Jima survivor. Oh man, that changed everything because we, we've got history sitting there next to us. I called one of the road guards, they went and got permission and sure the story is we took him to the program and you know as we were getting there and just the chaplain's crew was around him, uh, we were just going to spend some time and tell him how much we appreciated him. and. He started crying. He said, man, I've never been honored like this. We gave him a challenge coin and a pen and just first one thing and another. And we had our picture made with him, but then we took him inside. And he said, I have never been honored like this. When we took him up in front of everybody and uh, they presented him a picture and everybody stood and applauded. He says, you know, this is for all of my brothers, my buddies that didn't come home. And he started crying up there and, and over and over he cried. He told me as we were leaving, we spent about two hours with him. He said, I've never been honored like this before. And, uh, you know, it was a blessing to sit with him and listen to his story. You know, I can't imagine, I, I, I didn't fight in, in a war and I can't imagine the, he said, I still smell the bodies burning and I still hear the hollering. And man, just to love on that guy and to minister to him, put our arms around him. Chaplain Moore and I really spent some time with him. And, you know, I just, what a blessing. I, I'm going to tell more uh, in my writing. Uh, we didn't encourage you. We had a lot of good things happen today. So go over to our blog and read it on uh, missionm25.org. Love you guys out there following us, and thank you so much. Uh, be sure and tune in tomorrow.